Maggie, I'll see you in a few. Well, looks like Maggie decided to cut her weekend with the girls short. Lucky girls. Aw. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, no. You know, Maggie has been through a really rough time, and I, I think we should show her some compassion. Come on, it's, it's human nature. It's like me and Ted. I can't say that I'm entirely unhappy that Mr. Favorite's son-in-law couldn't seem to make his marriage work while second best Paul Hennessy has been able to stick it out all these years. Stick it out? Cherish, I meant cherish. All right, that's her, be good. Oh, oh wait, Paul, I, I can feel a dark cloud on the other side. This must be what it feels like when death comes a knocking. A knocking? Come on, I thought we were supposed to show some compassion. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're so right. come on, open the door and let Sadie McSad Sad in. <laughs> I'm back! Well, hello! <laughs> Eyes up. I mean, hello. Maggie, you, you look. Wow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I decided this weekend that I was gonna change my attitude about everything. I am so proud of you, and I'm just happy you're, you're, uh... Look, I'm sorry, Maggie, but your breasts. You are at least a cup size bigger. Try three cup sizes. But you, you, you were telling us about your weekend. Oh, these? Uh, I went out and bought a water bra just for fun. What the heck, men looked at me, I felt better. Hey, Maggie? Aunt Maggie? Oh, uh, girls, your Aunt Maggie just looks three cup sizes bigger because she got a water bra. We were just gonna ask what she was doing home so soon. Oh. Aunt Maggie! Uh, Gee, Maria, I, I thought you didn't like hugs. Shh, shh, shh. I can hear the ocean. I think that we can all agree. Doesn't Maggie look great? She looks fantastic. Don't you have some writing to do or something? Kate, we have guests. Maggie, tell us about your weekend. Well, I just took your dad's advice, called up some old friends, and they all told me to stop feeling sorry for myself. I told you that, too. Yeah, but they didn't use that tone. <laughs> Don't I know that tone? You know, it's a guy at work, drives me nuts. Did you know there is a whole substrata of women who've gotten out from under the yoke of marriage and blossomed? A few of us are going to Italy this summer. As one of those still under the yoke, I'm happy for you. Yeah, Maggie! Oh, right, all right, that's enough. Wait, 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 wait. I'm really sorry, Maggie. Oh, no, 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 I... <laughs> That sounds great, Aunt Maggie. I, I've always wanted a group of friends to share life's heartaches with. What are you talking about? We went shopping. <gasps> That's what I do when I get sad. Or mad, or glad, or bad. <laughs> so what'd you get? Two of everything, let me show you. What, did you get shoes? <gasps> you must be psychic. You know, sometimes I think I am. <laughs> Aunt Maggie! Oh my God, Mom, she's gone to the blonde side. Now there's two of them. I'm happy for her. I'm happy. Oh, Mom, <sighs> look at me. You're the sensitive one. You're smart, you have inner beauty, and sooner or later, people are gonna realize what they've been missing. It sucks, doesn't it? Bridget, have you seen my thesaurus? Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm waiting for Donnie to call. I really need to speak to him. <laughs> Donnie, leave. Go ask, ask, ask Donnie if he knows a better word for, um... <laughs> Donnie, hi. Okay, I need your undivided attention. For the next few moments, it's only you and... Bridget, I'm just calling to say I can't talk. I'm on restriction. Why? For talking to you. <laughs> we went way past curfew last night. Bridget, I've never met a girl who can talk so much. Thank you. <laughs> Donnie, I miss you. Well, I miss you too. I, I, I give up my whole life for you. None of my friends will speak to me. I'd have lunch with Mitch the Mathemagician. A Mathemagician? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Donnie, I'm lonely. Well, let me tell you something that'll keep you going till Christmas. Something I've never told another girl before. Yeah? Hi. Sir, yes, sir. Hang it up right now, sir. Hey, guys, I just got off the phone with Carter Tibbetts, NASCAR legend. I'm writing his book. No big deal. <laughs> Riveted, I see. Yeah, um, we're having a disagreement. Now, does this paragraph suck to you? <laughs> My diaper was a checkered flag. My bottle, a can of 50-weight oil. My, oh, it does suck. <laughs> Carrie, is that, a, is that a new top? Uh-huh. Yeah, Maggie gave it to me. I don't want you wearing that outside this house. No problem. Here, take over for a sec. Kyle's killing me. Oh, okay. <gasps> I'm killing you. <laughs> what are you looking at? Nothing. Don't objectify me. I wasn't. I was just looking at your body. <laughs> well, don't. Okay, okay, jeez. <laughs> oh, Bridget, some of your friends dropped by. Really? Yeah, I... Heather, Danielle, 
And, oh yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> Hey, Kyle. Sup? <laughs> Don't objectify me. What? Rory, I've got to go. What are you doing? You have a boyfriend. Oh, he's somewhere in Maryland doing push-ups. No, that doesn't mean you can hit on Kyle. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. I was just flirting. Besides, Kyle's like a, a crash test dummy. Besides, what do you care? Well, as a matter of fact... You know, Carrie, isn't the top a little trashy and revealing? You have one just like it. Mine's blue. <laughs> We're back. Hey, I'm Maggie, sit. <laughs> Here you are, Bridget. I know you've been a little down, so I brought you a present. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way, thank you. <laughs> huh. So, uh, what was in the bag? Something. <laughs> something what? Just something. <sighs> Just something what? <laughs> None of your beeswax. <laughs> Actually, it is my bees. What's in the damn bag? <laughs> hey, okay. Something. Something what? Oh my God, I just not. <laughs> Bridget, what are you wearing? It's a water bra. Oh. Well, take it off. No, I love it. And the guys will love it, them. Oh, I'm so back on top with these. Hello, Mary Kate, hello, Ashley. We're talking about a full house. What guys will love it? You're in an exclusive relationship with Johnny Doyle, remember? Mm, another reason to take it off. But he's so far away. Exclusive and he's far away. This is a no-brainer. Have your cake and eat it, too. L Life is short. Who's to know? And what kind of advice are you giving her? Yeah, what kind of advice are you giving her? I'm just telling her to have a little fun. God, Kate, you're so negative. God, looking at Maggie, there's two of them. <laughs> All right, Rory, Carrie, out. Bridget, you go upstairs and take that off. What, now Mom? God. Bridget, I'll go to her. She'll listen to me. Bridget, honey! <sighs> Pull. Satan. <laughs> you have no idea what is going on with your girls. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to write. I told you that Maggie was going to be a bad influence. She is corrupting Bridget. Do you know what she bought her? That's between me and her. OK, that's it. I have had it. Come on, I need to have a career here. But this constant din in this house is impeding my creativity and any possibility of turning out a NASCAR classic. So both of you are going to leave right now, and you're going to fix this by yourself. You know why? Because I already have my own teenage daughters. OK, I want to be that way. Go! Yeah, yeah right, right, Paul. <laughs> Maggie's a bad influence. You have no idea what's going on with your daughter. Early pregnancy detection kit. Bridget. Bridget. Doyle. <laughs> the boy. You haven't been watching Field of Dreams again, have you? Can't a father love his son? Where's Bridget? She went out to the... You're snooping around. No, I'm parenting. What are we parenting for? I'm looking for something, you know, popsicle size. Closet, top shelf, shoebox. Closet, top shelf, shoebox. This is Bridget's report card. I've never seen this. Oh, that's not like a popsicle at all. <laughs> by the way, did Kyle call? He said he might drop by. Kyle. <laughs> Doyle. <laughs> Kyle. Doyle. Bridget. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Bye, That's me. Carrie? Kyle. <laughs> Come on, Kate, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello? Carrie? How did you... Get off the phone! You happened to hug me. Bridget, I need you to get home right now. Dad, I can't talk right now. I'm with my friends. Well, I'm with Lori. Lacey. Lacey. I do too like her. I'm always home. I'm practically in the garage. Do you like ponies? If you had a pony, what would you name it? My life is over. Oh my god, the Mullet brothers are looking at me. Lucky. Oh, that's a good name for a pony. Bridget, you know Luke and Tyler? No. Do. 
How come you never talk to us at school? You're like, too good for us? Yeah, bro. Just because we're all business in the front, party in the back. Yo, I was talking to a dude. Dude. Dude, I, I went to a dude ranch two summers ago. I have a picture of me and a pony. You want to see? Donnie, come back. Come on. Who am I killing? Kyle? Doyle? I'm onto all of you. Justin Timberlake, Josh Hartnett, guy from Boy Band I don't know. Okay. You've taken the obligatory lap, been in every store, and pretended to browse. We were gonna talk? What's the point? All we do is fight. Mm. It's the first thing we've agreed on today. Why don't we just go home, I'll pack, and we'll try this another time. And what? Another two to three years when we see each other again? Oh. Maggie, look. Come here. <gasps> oh, Carrie. It's your sister, Bridget. What happened to her older boyfriend? She's with Lori and those two guys that sleep in the car. <laughs> That'll teach her to blow us off. Yeah. This is not good. <laughs> Carrie? Kyle? Bridget? I, uh, gotta go to the other side of the mall, touch it, and then come back. <laughs> Each other. Get out of here. You get out of here. Look how close they are. You remember when we were like that? Yeah. Before you started shutting me out of your life. My old boyfriend. Ow! My new boyfriend. Ow! My mall. Ow! You, you can have the library. Yay! What are you talking about shutting you out of my life? I keep in touch. Oh, yeah. And we send Christmas cards and birthday presents. We talk on the phone a lot. And yet you never once mentioned that you and Ted were having problems. I'm your sister, Maggie. I want to help. And yet I had to learn about your divorce from Mom. Mom! And we both know how much fun it is to talk to Mom. <laughs> and what's the deal with Mom's eyebrows? <laughs> no, they're up to her forehead. She always looks surprised. <laughs> Why have you always left me out of your life? Because yours is so great. And mine, well, I mean, Kate, I don't begrudge you your happiness, but sometimes I feel a little jealous. I mean, you do everything so well, and I've always lived in your shadow. Sometimes, literally. <laughs> You're jealous of me? Really? I was always jealous of your friends. My friends? Mm -hmm. You got to know you better than I did. You were always so funny and interesting to them. And now, with all that's going on, and you and your substrata going and jetting off to Italy, and it just sounds so exciting. I, I guess I'm a little jealous again. Jealous of me? I waited my whole life to hear that. Why are you so shocked, me? I mean, you moved on from high school. You got what you wanted, you got Donnie. You even released Kyle to the universe, remember? <laughs> all right, all right. I made my bed, and now I have to let sleeping dogs lie in it. <laughs> it's okay, I just have to stick it out until Christmas. God, being pinned is not what I thought it was. I'm lonely, and I have two little holes in my favorite dress. <laughs> well, have fun being popular. It's not as easy as it looks. Popular? Me? God, I never thought I'd hear that. Say it again now, say it again. <laughs> Italy, Kate. Me in a little cafe with a waiter named Paolo. Okay, make it Fabio and I'll be jealous. <laughs> I'm really jealous. Thank you. Come here to me. Darling. Let's go. Okay, come on. Let's find some liquor and men. <laughs> that waiter at West Party with me. Oh, he was a bus boy. Yeah, but I got a good feeling about him. He's going places. <laughs> All right, Maggie, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh, Kate, wait a minute. You two have been so wonderful to me. I am actually ready to go back to New York. The new, improved, happy, and positive me was oh, gonna kill Ted. <laughs> I didn't have to talk to you. Something happened today. What is it? Aunt Maggie! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Paul? Honey, I know I've been crazy about my career, but I want you to know from now on, my family comes first, and, 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 and you and I will deal with this. Deal with what? All right, you two, come here. Girls, sit on the couch right now. Sit down, quickly. Paul! I can't do this. Paul, what is going on? We need to find who this belongs to. Oh. I know, I can't believe it. Carrie, Bridget, Beach, Care Bear. Paul, it's mine.
Stay right where you are, because you are not going to want to miss what's coming up next on ABC.